let us see what this problem says if x plus 2 is a factor of p of x which is a polynomial of some kind here we see it is a cubic polynomial which is a x cube plus b x square plus x minus 6. So, x plus 2 is a factor that is what it is given and when the same polynomial p of x when it is divided by x minus 2 then it leaves a remainder 4. What does that mean? When you say x plus 2 is a factor that means the remainder is 0 actually isn't it and when it is divided by x minus 2 which means x minus 2 is not a factor hence we get a remainder ok. So, whenever a number is a factor of another number when it is divided it does not leave a remainder. So, it is called a factor when there is a remainder obviously it is not a factor. So, this is a factor and this is not a factor. So, for this I will use a factor theorem for this I will use the remainder theorem and I will equate both of them. So, I will get a set of simultaneous linear equation and with that I can easily find the value of a and b. See that these are the only two variables a and b is not it. It is a polynomial in x and the variables are a and b. So, I will get two variables, two equations and then I can solve them and get the answer. So, let us first put them as a factor theorem. So, if I say x plus 2 is a factor and you have p of x which is given as a x cube plus b x square plus x minus 6 and if x plus 2 is a factor that means p of minus 2 and how did I get minus 2? All I have to do is equate this to 0, x plus 2 is equal to 0 that gives me x is equal to minus 2. So, wherever I have x I put minus 2. So, that means p of minus 2. So, wherever I have x that should be equal to minus 2. So, this a what is x minus 2 what is it cube plus b minus 2 square plus of minus 2. So, just keep that bracket ready so that we do not make confusions with the plus and minus sign ok. We are very confident it is fine but otherwise these are the small things where we end up making mistakes ok. Minus 6. Now, what should I equate that to? Since this is a factor this entire thing when I substitute the remainder is 0. So, I can as well put it this as equal to 0 correct because this is a factor theorem. Had it been the remainder theorem I will write the remainder here that is what I am going to do for the next one. So, here it is equal to 0. So, all I have to do is just solve it still a and b will be there it is fine. So, minus 2 cube is minus 8. So, minus 8 a this is plus 4 minus 2 into minus 2. So, it is plus 4 b and then what is this minus 2 and minus 6 will give me minus 8 is equal to 0 ok. So, that gives me minus 8 a plus 4 b is equal to I take it to the other side make it 8. Now, everything is a multiple of 4 correct. So, I can reduce this equation. So, whenever you find a linear equation or any type of equation where both the sides have the same factors ok numbers just divide it and make it a smaller one. The smaller the equation the better it is with small coefficients is not it. So, dividing throughout by say 4 yes everything is divisible by 4. So, that will give me minus 2 a plus b is equal to 2. So, that is my first equation I got from the factor theorem and that is the reason why I have put a 0 here. The 0 has come because it is a factor. So, obviously the same thing I will not put a 0 here when it is a reminder that is the only difference. So, let me just uh, do it here itself. It says p of x here also p of x is given. Sometimes you may have two polynomials one for the factor or one for the reminder or you may have a two polynomials for two reminders. So, you have to be careful in looking at the which factor belongs to which reminder and all that. But here thank God there is only one polynomial one is a factor and one is a reminder. So, polynomial will write the same thing p of x and which is given as a x cube plus b x square plus x minus 6. Now, x minus 2 is not a factor, but when I divide this by x minus 2 it leaves a reminder. So, obviously this will be equal to 0 when I put x minus 2 is equal to 0 and p of x which is p of 2. So, if I find p of 2 see the difference between here and here it is p of minus 2 because x plus 2 is equal to 0 I had taken. So, x is equal to minus 2 here x minus 2 is equal to 0 that makes it x is equal to plus 2. So, that is why this is plus here. So, that small difference is very important and then of course, why it is equal to 4 because that is the reminder here there is no reminder hence it is equal to 0. So, when you do this you have a into 2 cube 
and then you have b into 2 square, then you have plus 2 and then minus 6 equal to 4. So that gives me 2 cube is 8a plus 4b minus 4. This is plus 2 minus 6 is minus 4 is equal to 4. If I take it to the other side, it gives me 8a plus 4b is equal to 8. Just like this, here also I can divide everything by 4. So, you have, when I divide by 4, I get 2a. This will give me just b and that will give me 2. So, looks similar, isn't it? So, both equations look similar, but they are not the same. Now, I have a pair of linear equations. All I have to do is solve them and get the answer. So, let them, let me write them again. So, this first equation I may write here as 2a plus b is equal to 2. The other equation is 2a plus b is equal to 2. So, the first one is minus 2a plus b. The second one is plus 2a. These are the two equations. You can eliminate any variable of your choice first. Okay. So, if I want to eliminate a, the coefficients are with opposite sign. Same coefficient with the opposite sign. So, if I want to eliminate, I just have to add them, isn't it? So, if I add them, what do I get? These two will get cancelled. So, I get 2b is equal to 4 will give me b is equal to 2. Can you see that? b is equal to 2. Which is what I am supposed to prove. Either it's a proof question, it's fine. If it is not a proof question, then your answer is b is equal to 2. That's what the question may be. Find the value of a and b. Okay, and then, of course, we can do substitution of b here. b is equal to 2. So, if I, any of the equation I can choose. So, if I choose the first equation, 2a plus 2 is equal to 2. What is this 2? It is the same as b, which I got as 2. So, if this 2 goes to that side, minus 2a is equal to 0, makes it a is equal to 0. We have proved look at this a is equal to 0 if I put here a is equal to 0 this entire term vanishes so initially when I said it is a cubic polynomial it appeared to be cubic but then the moment you say a is equal to 0 it's no more a cubic it is actually a quadratic polynomial and since it is a quadratic polynomial you have only two factors so if suppose you are supposed to find more factors you need not worry about finding three factors because there won't be three there will be only two so, one factor is already given. Of course, the other one you can easily find using what? Factorization. So, that will become b is 2. So, you have 2x square plus x minus 6. That is the polynomial. One factor is already known. Second factor you can easily find by factorization. Mm -hmm.